Hi there. I have some exciting news to share with you today. I wrote a book. It's called The Ultimate Beginner's Guide to the 555 Timer. It's designed to be an easy to follow project book for beginners, specifically showing how to transfer circuit schematics onto a breadboard and demonstrating the primary operating modes of the 555 timer. There are six different projects in the book with multiple variations of each. All the projects lead up to building what's called the Atari Punk console. Now this is a favorite noise making circuit in the DIY community, originally designed by Forrest Mims. And because this is a project book, I've also released a companion parts kit uh, with all the required components to complete all of the projects. I wanted to share some of the excitement with you today, so I've waited to open the very first copy of the book and the kit until uh, today. So let's take a look. I have the book and the kit uh, both ready to go here. Uh, let's go ahead and set the kit out of the way and focus on the book. Uh, like I said, this is the very, very first copy. Uh, I haven't even received a proof copy, uh, so this is gonna be this is gonna be it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully everything's good. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now then, it's gonna be a paperback, and here it is. Yeah, it looks nice. I'm very pleased just by the uh, cover. Uh, I opted for a uh, gloss cover and it looks like it turned out pretty good. And yeah, all right, so here we go. The ultimate beginner's guide to the 555 timer. So it's about, uh, let's see, it's about 62 pages as far as numbered pages. I think total it's around 70 or a little more of actual uh, pages inside the book. I actually started to publish this as a Kindle book, um, and they started a new program. Uh, they used to have Create Space uh, where you could print uh, paperback books. Uh, now they are starting a beta program that I was a part of, of printing paperback books through what they call Kindle Publishing. And so that's what I did. It took a long time to convert the Kindle book into a paperback. I spent many, many hours, um, very frustrated, uh, a lot of those hours, trying to lay out the book. And as you can see, I think I, I did a pretty good job. And you know, you, you have to consider everything when you do that, the, the margins, uh, what's called the gutter, the middle of the book here. So it looks like it turned out pretty good. Oh yeah, and the color pictures. So all of the diagrams are color. Uh, so like here's, uh, some of the breadboard illustrations. Now I did this with uh, Fritzing. Uh, you can download that from fritzing.org. And yeah, this is uh, pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with this. So there's uh, eight different chapters uh, in the book. Um, each, each one kind of builds upon itself. Uh, you know, I liked starting, uh, what I did was once we get into chapter Three. Chapter one just kind of tells you about breadboards. Chapter two tells you about the 555 and like these are all the pinouts um, that you need and, and it describes each one of the pins. Um, but once we get to chapter three, we go right into a stable mode for the 555. Uh, I did that because it's kind of almost the equivalent of the Arduino uh, Hello World blinky sketch. You know, we're going to get right off uh, building a circuit. Uh, here it is that blinks an LED, and then we go into monostable mode. So then I set up something to where we can press a little uh, push button switch uh, to turn on uh, an LED like that, and another one to reset it. So, and here's the schematic for that. And overall, this looks great. Uh, here's a timing chart so you can figure out your resistors and capacitors. And then we even go into mixing the modes together. Uh, so monostable and astable at the same time. And then we kind of flip that around a little bit and build a frequency divider. Um, and these graphics turned out really, really good. I don't know if you can see that. That's really sharp. I think most people will be able to look at that 
and and actually build the circuit from the book. I was a little worried about that being a smaller book like this. Um, I tried to make the pictures and illustrations as big as I could. So I think that's going to work out pretty good. Oh, yeah, and even uh, oscilloscope uh, screenshots. In fact, let me see. There should be another one here. There we go. Yeah, how about this one? So we even check that out. So that's pretty, well, here we go. That's pretty detailed, pretty crisp and clear. Let's see. We can even read all these small voltages at the bottom. Let me see where the presses of the different buttons are. There's a lot of information in here. You know, if you don't have an oscilloscope, that's why I went ahead and printed these out from a screenshot from mine. Uh, what was originally called the Steptone Generator, but it's kind of become, uh, in other circles, called the Atari Punk Console. And uh, so I have it here. I explain how it works. In fact, every one of these projects, I explain how, how they work, you know, and I don't go into engineering level detail. I mean, this book is for beginners. Try and keep it as simple as possible while still giving you the information you need to uh, build these. And then I even have a bonus mode. We go into the bi-stable mode, which you know a lot of people don't really get into. They stay in uh, a stable mode or monostable mode. So, boy, this turned out really, really good. I'm I'm super super happy with that. So there it is. Um, like I say, I don't know. I'm pretty ecstatic right now. Uh, so forgive me. But now then, let's uh, bring the parts kit uh, in here. And now then, I partnered with Jameco. Uh, to build this parts kit. So this is actually something uh, you will order right from them. Uh, the book you'll order from Amazon, and I'll have links in the description of the video and on blog posts for that. There's 24 different line items uh, that I have uh, on the bomb or bill of materials, and everything is included in this kit uh, to get you started with the projects in the book. Uh, everything but a nine volt battery. Uh, so the snap for the 9 volt battery is there. As you can see, we have a breadboard and we have some color coded pre cut hookup wires. Um, the reason I did this is because maybe not everyone, you know, has a nice, oh, pardon me here, they might, might not have a nice uh, selection of uh, hookup wire, you know. So, just in case you don't have that or the right tools, um, I decided to go ahead and in include these uh, pre cut jumpers uh, in, in with the kit. And this should be enough for all of the projects uh, that are listed in here. There's uh, trim potentiometers. If uh, you need to hook up your 9 volt battery from the snaps, this is a little breadboard friendly terminal connector. So, the positive will go in one side, the negative in the other from the 9 volt snaps which says right there a nice uh, breadboard friendly uh, slide switch um, it took me a while to, to find that uh, I went through a few different versions a couple of uh, tactile push button switches more trim potentiometers and what's nice about these is these also fit on the breadboard uh, easily you can see there's uh, legs there on the potentiometers. Let's see. Oh yeah, this uh, speaker. This also took me a while to find a breadboard friendly speaker. Uh, I wanted to have this book and all the projects to where, you know, maybe you don't know how to solder or maybe you just don't have the equipment uh, right now. Um, so I wanted everything to be breadboard friendly. And so finding the speaker took me a little while. Uh, Luckily, Jameco had it, and as you can see, the pin spacing for this is just right. I'm not going to bother opening that breadboard right now. We'll find another one, and it just snaps right in. So very breadboard friendly on the speaker, and it's 8 ohms, uh, which is, you know, uh, that's a good thing too. Uh, kind of hard to find a small breadboard friendly speaker like that. Now in here, it's going to be a lot of resistors and capacitors. All right, so, oh, LEDs too. So everything comes in packs of 10 except one of the capacitors. Uh, there's only five. 
mainly for cost reasons and because most of, in fact, here, here they are right here. Uh, so there's only five of these. Everything else, uh, as far as resistors and capacitors and the LEDs, there's 10 of. Also, because that was the minimum uh, ordering uh, quantity uh, to set this up. So there's five of these, 10 of these. We got more capacitors. Uh, these are electrolytic, so be sure you watch out for the stripe. That's the negative side. That's always going to go towards ground or the more negative side of the circuit. Uh, more electrolytics. And some different metal film. These are 0.1 microfarad uh, resistors. So yeah, we have uh, a bunch of different values of resistors. So the six different values of capacitors, six different values of resistors, uh, the LEDs. Oh, and then the most important thing, uh, the 555 timers itself. These are the Texas instrument uh, ones. You know, some people have bad luck with... Uh, you know, when you order parts from certain uh, places overseas. So that's uh, pretty much it here for the kit. Uh, so we have the book, we have the kit. And just so you know, the book does come in Kindle version. Uh, that is how I originally designed the book. I'll go ahead and grab my uh, Kindle. Uh, just to give you a, a, a quick view here, that, I mean, there's a small sample on Amazon, but it, it only shows the first few pages and I, I can't control that. That's, that's something on Amazon's side. So I just want you to be able to see, uh, hopefully there's not too much reflections here, but um, the the nice thing is I did design this book originally as an ebook, as a Kindle book. So all, I took a lot of time to put all of the graphics in and, and, ha and what's nice about this is the layout is clean on this. There's links to all the different uh, figures and schematics and, and illustrations. Uh, they're clickable, and so you can just go right to them. But then what's really nice, too, so this, you know, picture here, uh, this illustration of a breadboard might look small at first, but you uh, you hold down in the Kindle and hit Zoom, and now all of a sudden it's full screen. And in fact, you can turn it to landscape. You can even Zoom, <laughs> Zoom way in. So, uh, and if you have a Kindle or some type of reader that is black and white or monochrome, I did go ahead and uh, you can see right here, I did go ahead and put the plus and the minus, the positive and negative of the terminals on, on all of these. Uh, so just in case you can't uh, see the color uh, on these illustrations, um, and there's schematics and the equivalent circuit down here. And then the same thing, you can turn it. So now you can, when it's in landscape mode for depending on your device and your font size, you can look at two pages at a time have all the breakout uh, boxes for, you know, little interesting facts, things like that. So I did spend a lot of time with the Kindle version uh, to make sure it was readable because I've seen some really bad Kindle versions of books. So that's kind of it. Uh, hopefully I didn't ramble on uh, too long here. Um, but I just wanted you to see uh, the book, the Kindle version and the kit. And like I say, I'll have links down in the bottom uh, of the description. And uh, so anyway, I, I hope you enjoy the book. I hope you enjoy the kit. I hope you learn something. I hope you have some fun. And thanks for watching. And hopefully you buy my book and my kit. Thanks.